I will be talking about the ventilator. Ventilator is a sophisticated medical instrument specially designed to breathe in and breathe out of the lungs to assist or replace the spontaneous breathing. Normally used in intensive care department, emergency departments and operation theatres. The persons who, are, who use the ventilators are specially trained doctors in intensive care called as uh, critical case specialists, anesthetists and emergency physicians. Indications for putting a patient on a ventilator There are many different reasons for putting a patient on a ventilator but broadly can be classified in four, under four different headings. When a patient has a cardiorespiratory arrest, the patient's breathing completely stops. Hence, we require complete support of a ventilator. The second is to assist the underlying lung condition when the patient is breathing inadequately. And third is when the patient has a neuromuscular disorders such as uh, GB syndrome, myasthenia gravis. So, henceforth, we require partially or completely support of the ventilation. And of course, the last but not least, patients in controlled situations such as operation theatres where they undergo a major surgeries during which time they require artificial ventilation. There are different modes of ventilators. Modern mechanical ventilators have different modes of ventilation to suit the different requirements of the patients. They can be broadly classified, in, uh, classified under three different headings. One is total control mode when the patient does not breathe henceforth they require complete support of the ventilator. The second one is the support mode where patient breathes inadequately henceforth he requires little amount of assistance from the ventilator. The third mode is a spontaneous when patient is breathing from the spontaneously on a ventilator and requires very minimal supports henceforth this mode can be tried as a breathing mode from the ventilator to remove from the ventilator. Before putting a patient on a mechanical ventilator, the family members and the loved ones have to be counseled very clearly. The indications of putting a patient on a ventilator, the lung pathology, the critical care illness, the tentative duration of ventilation, the higher cost involved in the mechanically ventilating a patient in critical care setup has to be discussed very clearly and written permission has to be taken and documented. Few important points needs to be understood while a patient is on a ventilator. Patients are usually critically ill and have a multi-organ failure. Uh, patients require heavy sedation and sometimes even muscle relaxation due to hemodynamic instability of the patients. Patients require constant monitoring in a critical care setup by dedicated nursing staff in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Usually, the costs involved in managing the ventilated patients are quite high compared to other ICU patients. The family members have to be regularly counseled of the same and documented each time in, every, in the, while counseling the patient in the file. The risk associated with the ventilators are also, ha, uh, also has to be explained to the family members, such as ventilator-associated pneumonia, ventilator-associated tra barotraumas have to be explained to the family members too. Mechanical ventilator is a life-saving device used by the specially trained doctors in the ICU or ICU to save the lives and not as a death toll as understood by a general public. Hence, so creating awareness and educating the general public at large goes a long way in saving many lives.